Now one person who needs special thanks from me, who is behind the whole show, our Honorable District Governor Padmanji Party for his continuous guidance and constructive suggestion throughout this event plan. Thanks to each and everyone and I once again welcome you all. Jai Bharat, Jai Thank you, Mr. Good morning and welcome. Uh, I would, uh, to save a little time, I would like to thank everybody that uh, Madhuji thanked uh, in double respect and all of the other uh, Rotary and GPS Illuminati. But mostly I'm here to talk to you guys because I am inexpressibly happy that you're here and I am equally uh, ashamed of what we are about to give you as a world. The, um, the world we are leaving you is way too unequal, it's way too unhealthy, and it's way too uneducated about how to solve these problems. And all of that is landing in your lap. Uh, us old folks have been doing our best in many ways, but we have not solved the problem, and you are inheriting it. And so what we're trying to do today is to try to give you some tools, some ideas, some confidence that you will be able to deal with these problems because they are huge and much bigger than your dike as you probably know. And as young people, uh, most of you have very little money, authority, political influence. You have very few ways to change the system that has messed up the world so bad right now. Okay? But, you do have brains, you do have creativity, and you have the concern that brings you to strange events like this. And you certainly have the motivation because that future is your future. So that combination could be, should be transformative. And that's what we're looking forward to today and in the future. And you really don't have much choice. I mean, that is your home. And you either redesign that future or, and make it livable for all of us, for all of you and all of your successors, or we see the dystopia, the dysfunctional future that Hollywood is always happy to show us. We see that arriving unopposed and stealing away your dreams. So, you do have a few advantages, though, that some of us old guys didn't have. You've got uh, cheap video, excellent video now. You've got media, you've got social media, you've got the whole internet so that you can speak to people around the world. So that the ideas that come out of meetings like this, if they're powerful, if they're wise, can reverberate internationally. And another multiplier effect is that Rotary International is holding these kind of meetings all over the world also. I mean, in thousands of venues, there are RILA meetings now. And the usual pattern is, old people like me get up and tell you how great you are and what a great future you're going to have and go out and do it. And nobody's really talking and asking what you want and what you care about and what you need to do in your own heart. And that's what we're trying to change that pattern today. So that from now on, if once this video gets shown around, once other people hear about this, that the Ryla pattern is no longer speeches like this, but it's actually you people generating energy and generating ideas. And that's what, that is what we're hoping for out of this, primarily. It makes, this makes a whole new generation of Ryla leadership education possible and you're here at the birth of that, we hope. But when you try to think creatively about these problems, you will also have to think more critically. Well, these problems, why are these problems still with us, considering all we know and have learned? What is really holding us back? Who is really profiting from these dangers and our ignorance? How do we reduce or reverse these forces in ways that really, really matter? 
there's questions I want each of you to think about before you go into your workshops today, just uh, quickly but deeply. And education delegates, for example. Who is instructing you, both in terms of people and system? And what are their goals? What are they, are they teaching you to develop all your own unique skills? Or to make your parents happy? Or to please your future employers? Or to make India develop? Or to heal the planet? Or just to hold on to their jobs? What are their motivations? What is driving them and what is their power? Because that, if you're going to try to change the education system, you have to understand that equation, okay? Eco-social health delegates. The big question for us, I mean, I'm a mentor in that group, is why is it in an age when we know so much more about our environmental peril than ever before, dying oceans, increasing pollution, declining biodiversity, worsening public health, all this knowledge has not generated power. Things are getting worse. We know more, and things are getting worse. Knowledge is supposed to be power. Remember that? What happened to ours? We want you to think about that as a background question. And similarly for inequality delegates. I mean, genetics, biochemistry, modern science now is taught status systems on. All of that is a creation in the mind. And it's not something we created, it was something that was very carefully engineered by a lot of people and inserted in our minds. So, these are engineered falsehoods that keep us apart and keep us unequal. Who is doing all that engineering? And who is profiting from it? And how do we confront that force, okay? So in other words, I'm asking you to think not just about the endless opportunities to make things better, but why things are not working better now than in the past. The saying used to be, know your enemy. So, the pollute, I mean, all of the problems that you deal with are going to depend upon their power, your enemy's power, your enemy. They're not necessarily personal enemies, but for your future to become what we pray it is you are going to have a lot of people standing against you and you're going to have systems standing against you and how do you break through that? So we want you to think big and we want you to think really seriously about this and about problems that you already care about and know about. So, and we do hope for a lot of solutions to come out of this work and there are many kinds that you can offer. As the Design for Change people say, there are quick solutions, there are old solutions, and there are solutions that really last over time. And we need a lot of all three to come out of these sessions today. And we ask, we ask for your total dedication to really make this happen. We want this to be fun, but we want this to be work, and we want this to really accomplish something. So in closing, let's just let me repeat how happy I am to see you here, and how much we depend on what you accomplish both today and in your life ahead. Thank you.